I have been getting a certain question more and more. And during Q&As with Fringlish and other occasions we did go over the bit, but who watches those overloads of information, eh? But the question is, what is the shortest way to T4, really? Well, the short answer is there is no shortcut unless you've got a lot of money. The long answer is there is no shortcut unless... No, just kidding. There are definitely a lot of things you can do to get there faster. So let me put it in different categories. And we start with research speed. Now, when it comes to research speed, talent will give you the biggest chunk. Research speed 1 and research speed 2 will give you a combined 85% increase. And the good thing is, you don't have to keep it active all the time. Only when you start a research, you need those talents, and then you can go back to your gathering of war talents. And then your next biggest contributor is your gear. And same counts for your gear as counts for your talents, you only need to equip it when you start a research. After that, wear whatever you like. Now, your focus on gear will be the Eye of Rilla. It's part of the champion set and you basically get it by gathering. And other than that, you will get the Maester set by hunting Old Town students. This will also add a great amount of research. Now, your gear in the end might even give you more than your talents. Then another massive piece comes from your commanders. And this game is really on the side of free-to-play players on this one. Soren adds 25% research speed. And so does Varys. And then Tyrion Lannister even gives 40%. Leveling Tyrion is really hard for free-to-play and paying players alike. Leveling those commanders will at least give you 50%. Then the Maester's Tower will give you 30% at max level and another 10% at max glory, which is a total of 40%. Then comes Nobility rank. Every rank gives you another 2% and maxing out at Lord Commander 3 at 25 then a somewhat smaller uh, portion is the refining system, which adds research. So keep rerolling until you get those. And when starting the really big research, you might want to quickly request a Grand Maester buff from King's Landing and even wait for the King's Festivals. Now, all these things are goals you really have to set for yourself because research is one of the longest roads you have to take in this game. The only exception being batches. After a year of playing, you start getting most free to play commanders gold, all your buildings are level 25. And you even unlock T4s. This is if you have a decent alliance and you really play smart. However, your research will still not even be halfway and your badges are often just starting to become purple. With that in mind, let's quickly move to the second part. And these are resources. You will need well over 1 billion researches of each, including gold, to get to your royals. What most players do, they'll start frantically researching in the military tree, but this will slow you down a lot and eventually you will be brutally halted by a specific research. This specific research being Army Armor Upgrade Level 10. This research will force you to complete the entire production tree, with the exception of diamond prospecting, before you can even research it. All this time you've been begging for resources, gathering like mad and forgot about the production tree entirely. Do not make this mistake. Complete this tree soon and fast. It will boost your production dramatically. And it will also boost your gathering just as hard. Your city needs to grow first, so this tree is your primary focus for now. They are not expensive. So whenever you can, and the Maester Tower level will stop you all the time, do these researches first including Transport Upgrade and Resource Exploitation 1. Now having all this extra production will probably leave you with a nice surplus of resources. Don't sit on that, waiting for someone to steal it, because in most servers if you drop a bubble and you have several millions of goods, it is a matter of time before someone scouts you and takes it from you. That will bring us to step 3. Bank. Bank a lot. Make sure you have crazy amounts of goods ready for when you need it. In our alliance we use an alliance bank. The alliance leadership will ensure the bank stays bubbled all the time. Deposit everything you don't need directly. Make sure your city is always empty. This will reduce the chance being attacked a lot. Personally I rarely attack players just because they have a big army. As long as they don't have resources and I cannot get merit from them, I just don't care. Now try to set goals for yourself on banking goods, like 500 million of each or 1 billion would even be better. 
Once you're ready for the big researches, you simply request it back and they kept it safe and can transport it instantly. Now, step 4 is your army. Don't build a massive army until you're ready. You only need gathering troops and enough to fill a rally. As long as you don't have T4 or at least army research level 9, your army is too weak. Now of course, with events like Alliance Conquest it has changed a little bit because you do want multiple rallies. Now then you have several options. If you are in a strong alliance, you'll get plenty of diamonds to maybe stay bubbled. But this will hurt your progress a lot. You need tons and tons of diamonds to finish your primary buildings. The Bannerman Hall, for example, will cost you around 225,000 blue diamonds. And as much as it feels, it's not that bad if you don't want to waste 30,000 a month on bubbles. If you are in a peaceful server or a big alliance, you might want to have the opportunity to keep a larger army, if possible. And it also depends a little bit on what you build. And that brings us actually to step 5. Now for resources, the best way is to keep balanced. Unless you have some alt accounts, you may consider hyper farming. For the other buildings, mints are really cheap to build. In comparison to hospitals, they are so easy to get to 25. Having a lot of mints will get you a massive amount of gold, which will help you towards getting the, your T4 faster. Not to mention, the 20% training speed will compensate a lot when losing your troops, you can train them up faster than you can imagine. Don't build any army tent, you don't need them until you're after you unlock T4. Build around 4 hospitals to start with, that will cover most of your troops, the rest build mint. The moment you will unlock your T4, the amount of gold you will need will dazzle you. Training 1 million T4 costs you half a billion gold. Since we're talking about training, step 6 is speedups. Don't use any speedups for troops ever. Save your training speedups for when you unlock tier 4. And use all other speedups you have for research only. Having so much production and so much speedup focused on research, you should easily be able to keep up. Speedups are valuable, don't use them without any reason. And that will bring us to step 7, events. There is your one exception to when you can use training speedups, as well as any other speedups, even when it comes to building. And the same exception is the only time you should actually use the speedups at all. These are the daily, the normal, and the elite event. The biggest commander to boost your research is still Tyrion, and you'll always have the tools to get the medals when they show up in the elite events. Personally, I have been slacking a lot, but many of my alliance mates already unlocked Tyrion to gold quality within a year. That 40% boost on research will help everyone a lot, not to mention his boost in your combat stats. So this is when you use your speedups, and don't forget that when you complete an event third set, you always come eligible for additional rewards based on your rankings in it, which can give you even more. Especially when completing big researches or level 25 buildings, those are the moments you can score really big. So only complete them when there are fitting events. And best would be if your daily, normal and elite all have the same research or training soldiers for example. Now the game comes with many other events also helping a lot in getting items. The biggest one being alliance mobilization. It will come with many special items that will help you a lot getting more speed ups and more progress. For the benefits the biggest event is the VIP shop however Early you will need the blue diamonds for upgrading your buildings more. Step 8 is Alliance. Keep your alliance active. Replace members when they become inactive. Don't keep old accounts in the same alliance unless they are strong enough to help out a lot. Don't sit around with many small alliances if you can merge into a massive one. This helps everyone out. Now after all this preparation work you most likely unlock tier 3. And you can start rushing the rest of the military tree. The difference between elite and royals are insane. Especially since all your bonuses scale due to being in percentage. So the higher the base stat, the more you benefit from it. Now the key for every alliance are rebel leaders. If everyone can bring in at least two chests every day from rebel leaders, the higher the better, the entire alliance grows so much faster. You can grab some extra research to complete those, they are not that expensive. Now don't attack rebel leaders 
you need too many hits for. The max being 4 or 5 hits. You need them entirely to get the chest for the alliance. And the combo cap will help you a lot. The next step is community. Make a new friend. Build your alliance not only in power, but also with people you like. Set up active and fun Discord server. Build a real community. This community is what keeps you interested to play and get to the point where you can be a warrior. But first, become a farmer and be very patient. If you do everything alright, your research will be around 300%. I hope you like this mask class and it helps you get your royals. It really makes the gameplay a lot more fun. Be patient, play the game for the long run. You don't need to invest hours a day. If you don't feel like it for a day or two, just log in. Do your dailies, do your rebel leaders and log out again. But keep playing for that year. Subscribe, share, sharing is most important and like if you did. See you soon.